Hey guys, thanks for stopping by to hang out with us. Today is a learn with me video. I'm going to be showing you how I make my chip bag markups using Canva. Canva is a free online graphic design software that you can use for absolutely free. It's really easy. All you have to do, you log into your account. If you don't have an account, you can make a free account. And to get started, when I'm making my markups, I just use the standard size um, paper, but landscape. So you're going to go to your custom dimensions and you're going to make it 11 by 8.5 inches and you're going to click create design. All right, I forgot to mention, so before you even get started, you either want to make a markup or you can purchase one off of Etsy like I did when I first got started. I actually purchased a chip bag template maker from an Etsy seller. Now I just use my own template that I came up with for my chip bags, but I still use the chip bag markup that was included in that package. And that's what you see right here. So I'm going to change my page color, different colors, so that I can see what I'm doing. So once you have your markup uploaded, it's just a PNG file. Markup itself is fairly simple, but as you can see, the outline of the chip bag is um, cut out. So you only see the outline and that way you can place a picture and push it back and it will look like an outline of a chip bag. I'm going to show you how that works in just a moment, but you want to make a copy of this because you want to have a front and a back so I'm just going to move this one to the side for now and let's make the front of our chip bag so next you want to upload your chip bag design that you have already did and I have already, I already have one uploaded here, so I'm going to click on it and it's going to come up. So what you want to do, we want to do the front of the bag only. So we're just going to clip off the ends. Okay, now we just have the front. So we're going to place this on top of that one and we're going to size it to fit. Okay. And now all we're going to do now is click the position button and we're going to push backwards. Now you see it has the outline. Okay. So next I want to group these two pictures together so that they don't move while I'm trying to do the back. Okay, so next, now you want to move your other copy of your markup over and we're going to do the back. You're going to pull up that same picture and now you're going to clip off the front of each side. You're going to do your right and your left side. So we got that side done. I'm going to move that side over and we're going to resize it to fit. Okay, that's good. We're going to click on it, position, and we're going to push it back. See how that looks? We're going to pull up that image again and we're going to clip off so we get to that side. I'm going to move it over and we're going to size it okay click position and we're going to push it back now the middle is going to, when we change the color back to white, it's going to be white. 
So we can leave that as is. And we're going to select the images. And we're going to group them together. We're going to click our page again. And we're going to change the color back to white. So now you have the back of your bag and we have the front and we can resize it if we need to. And that's it. And that's how I make my markups in Canva. And you can add your text. If you want to add text here, you can go ahead and add all of that. But it's fairly easy. And then after you get done, you can click that download button right here. You can save it as a PNG file. That's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below. Um, if you like these types of videos where I'm taking you along with me as I learn more about making um, printables and selling on Etsy, I'll be happy to share with you all what I'm learning. And if you're interested in seeing a video on how I made my first 30 sales, leave me a comment down below. All right, guys, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.